Cameron, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu, it's a core game. Don't at me, all right? No, it's not. Well, you know what? They said it was a core game. No, and they I'm didn't. Gonna, well, fuck! The core game's coming! How about that? Okay, that's better. Fucking shit. Pokemon Gen 8 is the word around town right now. The Pokemon company just confirmed the latter half of 2018, 2019, sorry, whoa, take it easy. The latter half of 2019 release, fall-ish is what we're looking at for Pokemon uh, the Gen 8. And it is Gen 8. They said there's going to be new Pokemon. They confirmed that. They said, yep, there's new Pokemon. And the best news of all is they said the visuals are going to be an upgrade from Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu. Everybody was upset about the visuals. They're like, seriously, you're going to give us this half-assed, fucking like barely better than 3DS visuals. And don't get in the comments like, well, actually, the specs on the 125 are actually HD. Tegra HD. Fuck you! Don't you do that shit! Don't forget the Tegra. Looks like garbage. You see that shit when he was on the Lapras? I was. Oh, I was mad! That's the best they can but, do in a year. But yeah, well, I, exactly. That's the best they can do in a year. It's a core grab. They're trying to. I'm not a core grab. It's a casual grab. Sorry. Fuck me. It's a casual grab. They're trying to gra grab the casuals. I've read an interview. He was talking all about it. He said, we're trying to make this as accessible as possible. It is not a fucking mainline core Pokemon game. Do not at me in the comments. I swear to fucking God. But the real next mainline core pokemon game is coming in 2019 it's gonna have way better visual I'm, I'm assuming way better they said they're gonna be better i don't know why they would say they're better and there's an ass there better it's gonna have better visuals it's gonna have new pokes so stay on the lookout for some silly shit to come soon hopefully we hear more at e3 they gave us this little tidbit this little morsel beforehand which i do appreciate i wanted to know more about it and they gave it to us maybe we'll get some news probably not because it's right around the corner and they gave us this already so who knows but uh hopefully soon in the next few months or so we'll get we'll get a little more info because i'm super excited about this a real core mainline pokemon game on my switch not fucking pokemon with fucking pokemon go mechanics roped in there to get the casual crowd that's not what i want but uh, that's what my dumb ass will buy anyways i'm sorry i don't blame him for I'm doing gonna it. Buy, and I, I don't blame him i don't blame him i think it'll be fun I think it'll be fun too, but not as fun as a whole new adventure on the Switch. Sorry. Either way, I don't want the next gen right now because that means they rushed it. Right? This guy knows. Who is he? Get his number! Uh, you have it. It's, it's a. Boop, 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 I guess boop, I do. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, PS4, or PlayStation in general, sorry, because it's for PSVR too, got a head start on the E3 shenanigans. They announced a brand new game from the creator of Hold On. He's the he created Hold On. From the creator of Res and Luminous, his name is Tetsuya Mizuguchi, and it's called Tetris Effect, and it's pretty much talking about the effect people get when they play Tetris a lot. Whenever you're done playing Tetris, apparently you still see blocks, and like you're trying to go to sleep, and you're still seeing like the blocks dropping and disappearing. It's a real thing. Uh, there have been college studies, professional studies about this. The Tetris Effect is real. Uh, actually in almost like two-thirds of uh, participants that it, it actually shows up that they get the Tetris effect. So he named the game the Tetris effect after that and uh, it looks pretty trippy as you'd imagine. He's like, dude, whoa, this guy's got fucking sharks in the background of outer space with the Tetris coming down. This is wild, man. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting. At. Obviously, it uh, looks, you know, like a fun spin on Tetris. It looks pretty wacky and outrageous, like super... Uh, emphasis on the crazy visuals as you would imagine with the games that I just mentioned that this guy created so uh, I guess if you're a PlayStation boy and you got PSVR especially I'm sure it looks crazy in PSVR I've never experienced any type of VR so I don't know but it would be fun to play this probably because you're like in fucking outer space with all kinds of colors going off and fucking sharks flying through there and shit. This is the shit I saw and I was like, what in the fuck? Maybe I'll this get it. This looks pretty outrageous. You know it looks cool. It looks cool. Maybe I'll get it. <laughs> well, I hope you do. Uh, so, you know, if you like Tetris, you got a wacky rendition of it coming your way. I think it comes out around fall uh, this year. So be on the lookout for that. Fun for all us Tetris people. And I guess Tetris is public domain right it's public domain because everybody can like make a tetris game or i don't know what it works i think there actually is an official tetris though like right like there's an official i think, I think the russian government owns tetris i don't know what the deal is with tetris but there's like a million fucking versions of tetris i know there's like the tetris company but can anybody just make tetris i don't know uh tell me that in the comments you can instead of adding me to explain to me what tetris is all about and don't you link me to the gaming story video i've already seen it
a good one. Hour long, he did a great job. Norm, God bless you. You know, there's an old video of, um, made by these people that were on this website. I can't remember what it was called. Fuck. It was called... They, uh, made, they made a Tetris... Um, no, they didn't. I'm going to look it up. No, they didn't. Look hey, up. don't look it up. Put your phone down and man the cam! It's doing it fight. It's well, it's on a tripod, but I was trying to create an illusion of you it's being one of those guys. <laughs> but anyway, also, this is, was really, really interesting to me. I was super intrigued when I saw this. I do not uh, have a Steam account. I don't play PC games. Sorry. Get triggered, as always. But uh, Valve said they are going to stop policing uh, the Steam store. They're going to just let anybody put whatever they want on there. Any game you want to put on the fucking store, as long as it... As long as they don't deem it illegal or straight up just trolling, you're good to go. Apparently, uh, they do this. They want to have a hands-off approach because they're thinking to themselves like, well, we don't want to tell people what they can and can't buy or tell people what they can and can't make. They want artistic freedom and freedom of choice across the board for people. And that is amazing. That's a great step towards, uh, I don't know what, but it's fucking great. It's towards freedom for America! In the world, I guess. I don't know. I'm sure there's going to be different policies in different countries. But as far as America goes, there you go. And uh, there was a recent controversy with them uh, removing some visual novels that were a little too adult. Which is silly because, you know, if you're an adult and you want to buy this game, why shouldn't you be able to buy it, right? What the fuck? Let them do it. And people want to make this game, give them their artistic freedom. Quit being dicks. But they are going to stop being dicks. So there you go. All you developers that want to rush out there, get those cr cash grabs. Uh, get to it. Cameron's already working on like 15 uh, PUBG clones as we speak. I am. I'm so hopefully one of them, hopefully he's throwing them at the wall, hope, hope one sticks and we'll get some money rolling into this here channel. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Cameron has absolutely zero experience with coding, developing, uh, programming, everything. He has no experience, so it's going to, not going to look, it's not looking good, but he's got a few GoFundMe, so got it going. check those out. Uh, also, we got the E3 schedule for uh e3 coming up in about what five days now or something like that or actually no it starts uh on the 9th or 10th i believe so it's even sooner than that microsoft presentations on the 10th i think i'm not really sure but it looks great nintendo's presentation according to twitch is gonna be 45 minutes long so that's a goddamn long ass fucking direct that's fucking long as shit right it's gonna be in a direct obviously nintendo doesn't do the live presentation anymore they like just doing the direct and then doing the treehouse shit and everything they said they're gonna be pretty 28 18 focused but that does not mean we can't get 2019 stuff it says it says it's focused on that, but just because you're focused on one thing doesn't mean you can't weasel in a few other things, you know? The focus could be this, but it could be more fingers crossed for some fun, awesome surprises from Nintendo. Please give them to us. Also, Microsoft presentation, I think it's 45 minutes as well, and uh, they talked about they're going to show us Halo 6, which I'm excited about, and 4s, and some other uh, Xbox staples, and they are quoted as saying it's going to be their biggest E3 yet, so I'm sure they've got some pretty outrageous stuff in store. If they're going to fucking say that shit, I mean... Biggest yeah, E3. I mean, it better be their fucking best, right? Sony was kind of just like, whatever. You're going to get some good shit. You know you're going to get some good shit. Everybody else is the same way. But there's going to be tons of surprises. And uh, if you want, join us for our live streams. We're going to be live streaming as many of the conferences as we can. And we'd love to get these reveals in, li in live time, in real time with you. You want to join us? There you go. Boom. We're going to be there. Ask Cameron about his PP size or ask us what our favorite pasta is. You love doing that, apparently. And there you go. Ask us what we do for a living. Ask us what we do Play for value. a living. Play Value. That was the show that I was talking about earlier. They have a good story hey, about I don't, Tetris. I'm pretty sure no one cares. Let me let me check. Yeah, yeah no one that. cares. Watch, watch our videos and stuff. Yeah, watch our videos. Give us that watch thought, time. you motherfucker. Fuck you, jabroni. Whoa, take it easy. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like. Drop a comment down below. All the stuff I talked about. Just berate me. Tell me you fucking hate E3. Whatever you want to say, let me have it. Don't dislike the video, though. That is not allowed here. If you dislike the video, we will be sad. And do you want to sad? No, you don't. And uh, if you want to go above and beyond all of that and support the channel monetarily, you can hit us up on Patreon for as low as a dollar a month. We would greatly appreciate that. That is only $12 a year, and it really does help a lot. One of our lights just fucking broke. We're about to have to buy new lights. Right after the video, we're buying new lights. The all light's our... broken. Look at it. we got to use another light <laughs> for it. Turn on. Anyways, it's done. Anyways. Um, God, can you fuck me up? Oh, yeah. If you want con if all of our current patrons, you're amazing. If you want content beyond this, oh, yeah, if you crew adventures, uh, Bubby and Friends, Hit them up, and uh, thanks again for watching. Oh, also, come to our Too Many Games 
Uh, we're coming to too many games. We're gonna fucking be there. God damn it. Anyways, thanks. See you. Fucking bye. God damn it. So I want to say thank you to your loyalty. Thank you for your support. Will someone get this fucking wasp?